Alright, we are live again. I doubt that it changed much, but, uh, you know, just, just testing things out. But, yeah, we've got game number four now. Just a reminder, Leotas are one game away from winning the series and one game away from eliminating Mindcat. But uh, Mindcat looked really, really impressive in game one, so it could come again, but no, it's another mistake and Vibes. Able to thread the needle here. Exalt unable to really get an effective touch there. And Petto with quite the uh, defensive blunder. Team in orange looks completely discombobulated right now. Bump attempt by Vibes. This will look like it's worked out. But I like the creativity coming out from Leotus, and they're definitely getting a lot more confident throughout this series. Or they won't be able to get back to that one. An interesting card shows. <laughs> Lucive now in the air. He's looked like a player that's definitely liked to go in the air. Sometimes has messed up, but other times has been actually really really effective in the air. Exalt. Passing that down really really nicely for post spam. Oh it's a good shot but an even better save. Elusive. Perfectly in position to save that one. Here fake out from Petto. Here another touch to Petto. Unable to get the shot off. It was a really really good play by Exalt there. Had the vision to pass it perfectly to his teammates. But didn't quite have the Conversion rate for his team. Elusive. So out to his team. It's a good challenge from Exalt. Gets demoed in the process vibes. It was actually a really good hit off the backboard. Exalt looks like he's first to that one. Off to his teammate. Post spam. Off to the backboard. Able to get that double. Slightly off the mark again. And Minka haven't really looked impressive in such a long time now, now that it'll probably play on their minds. Here it is. We get that to the midfield, but Exalt first to that ball. Definitely been a star man for Mindcat. But it looks like the confidence of his teammates had definitely gone down. Gorth, another shot. In the top corner, saved by Petto. As the, mount, the pressure keeps mounting from Leotis. Here, another awkward touch. Gorth, not quite on target, but definitely making a defense scramble from Mindcat. A good beat there from Elusive. It's a good demo from Exhaust. A little bit of space opens up, but of course, trying to get it really far away from the play, get it far back, but Mindcat were perfectly in position. Ooh, a little bit of a, a mistake here on defense again from Mindcat. I won't turn into anything too bad, but I definitely could have done a lot more. And they could do with anything right now to get some more momentum. Vibes here. Have a bit of a show struggle here, but it's actually a really good read. Put himself in a really awkward spot, but it's a really good read. And now Exalt's actually able to strike one in. From what I thought was an unlikely scenario. One beat there, and it looked like there was no third man. Flipped to the wrong side from Vibes as well. And we're all tied up. Actually a good shot here from Elusive. Span. Able to shadow that one effectively. But again, Mindcat. Definitely scrambling here. Low on boost. Looks like he gets one there, but good 50. Vibes, I think it was. No, it was, must have been Gorth. Spam first to that one. We get it to the midfield. Nobody there. Looks like they're just struggling on boost and subsequently unable to really get options in the midfield for the defense to try to clear it out somewhere effectively. Ooh, a double tap attempt from Elusive on target. Oren down as Elusive single-handedly gets the lead for Leotis Academy. One re minute remaining. They just have to hold the lead tightly. 
and they'll be going to the next round to the quarterfinals of tier one. You cannot doubt Mindcat too much. They've been, as we said earlier, mechanically very, very capable early on. And if they're able to get back to that rhythm, they look extremely dangerous. 40 seconds remaining. Leotis still leading by one. Another good play from Vibes, potentially. A good 50, but a demo by Peto opens up some space from Postman, who's got such low boost, unable to make anything happen. Now, going into the last 20 seconds, Mindcat have to score one to keep themselves alive in this series and this tournament. Another shot coming in from Vibes, slightly off the mark, and that could have killed the series right there. Another shot coming in from Vibes, top corner, Exalt with a good save, second, seven seconds left. Elusive with another double tap, save by Peto. We'd have to have a miracle for this. They have a goal, and Leotis Academy able to take out Minecat Esports within four games. And that was extremely well played by Leotis as well. I believe that is that is GG's. Right? Yeah. Everybody's readying up, but I'm pretty sure they've won. If I'm not mistaken, mistaken, right? You won three games, right? All right, yeah, it was best of five. I was, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure round one's best of five. All right. Well, uh, I apologize for the lag. I, I'm not sure what was happening, with the internet today, but I you know it is, it is what it is, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I'll be ending it off here. Um. Let me just add the third game. Quick. There we go. They go three to one for Leotis Academy. And, uh, yeah, I'll be uh, ending this the stream. I'll catch you like guys later again. Thank you for the cast and everything, everyone involved. Apologies again for. The lag, unfortunately, today hasn't quite happened uh, for me in quite a long time. Never in IGL, anyways. But you know, I guess it happens. Yeah, I'll catch you. Catch you all later. We stand and watch the world go up in flames. We fight for life. Until we die in vain When the sky is getting dark And we're broken in our hearts When we build our own demise From the ashes we will rise When the world, world, world is falling down Will you be? Oh